morning. Good morning. <laughs> so we are in Glacier Bay. A ranger's meet and greet in about 10 minutes. Ranger shop is going to be opening here in about 30 minutes or so. Yeah, I've got everything uh, here. I didn't whole schedule. Read up on it. I mean, <laughs> they're opening basically all the decks. The bow is going to be open on yeah. deck five. Yeah. You can go out on, you're going to be serving. Dutch hot pea soup today, and um, we're gonna have uh, uh, sightings of the Marjorie Glacier. We're gonna be cruising there for a little bit. So then we've got uh, John Hopkins Spa Inlet and the Lamplu uh, Glacier that we're gonna be seeing. Hopefully, you'll be able to hear me through my layers and layers of clothes. We'll see how <laughs> smart I am today, because I haven't been that smart with the clothes and I can't wait to actually like do a thing where I can tell y'all how to be smart <laughs> go in dressing, bagging. Yeah. But I have a tank top, I have a long sleeve shirt and a sweatshirt and I have uh, workout pants and and sweatpants. <laughs> Two so. pairs of pants on. I do because right. I know I'm going to be outside and I know it's going to be cold and so I don't want to have because what happens is we go outside, it gets cold, the wind and we don't stay out there because it's cold. So I'm planning on being wow. able to stay out there for a period of time. I mean, yesterday we were out in the cold and, you know, had our puffer jackets on and I was fine as long as I was covered. So yeah. It's all about how you layer. Yeah. Making sure that you got enough on, but. Like right now, I'm warm and like, I'm too layered. <laughs> but I'm inside. <laughs> you guys want to see the sights, you don't want to hear us talk, so here we go.
we are back in the cabin for a few minutes. We just finished up at the Marjorie Glacier. Yes. Ah, wow. There were two humpback sightings this morning on our sailing in, but I could not get any space at the window or get my camera to focus out the windows because we were inside at that point up in the crow's nest listening to the rangers talk about everything. Uh, so I didn't get any video of that. We did on, well, I didn't get video, but there was another sighting on the fifth, uh, on the, in the front of the valley. Yeah? Yeah, one, it may have been the same one, but it was, we spotted twice, so I don't know. So we just spent the past two hours outside on, on deck, uh, watching the, the Marjorie Glacier, and we saw sea otters, and you saw, what, a short-eared owl? A short-eared owl, that so, was pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And I was just parked there, shooting video of the glacier, hoping, hoping that uh, I'd catch some calving. Uh, there were two calving events uh, shortly after I got out on deck, but we were not at the right angle for me to get a shot at it. So uh, I just kind of had to wait and wait and wait. And as we were turning away and <laughs> sailing away from the glacier, uh, I caught uh, some calving going on that actually uh, continued for almost a minute. Um, it wasn't continuous dropping, but that same area of the glacier kept breaking off chunks and dropping them. And then, you know, 20, 30 seconds later, another chunk would jump, drop off. And so it was uh, pretty dramatic. Uh, I have no idea how huge those chunks were. There was a little boat there uh, that was uh, on another expedition looking at it that was, uh, give you a little bit of frame of reference, but still we were, uh, we were pretty far away at that point, but uh, got some good footage of it, so you should enjoy that. So now we are headed to, uh, what is it, Johns Hopkins uh, Channel or something like that, and and another glacier. We didn't really have much for breakfast because yeah, everything started lunch. really early. Yeah. Had a little bit of coffee, but you know, the way things are going, you don't want to lose your spot against the rail. <laughs> so you don't even want to leave to use a restroom. If you ever do uh, see some calving, keep focused on that spot. You might uh, see more coming at the same place. All right. Gonna warm up just a little bit, swap out batteries because we're burning through them today, and get back out there and see what else, uh, what other beautiful sights we can catch today. So we just passed by the Johns Hopkins Glacier and the Lamplaw yeah. Glacier. Now the John, Johns Hopkins Glacier, we'll throw some video of it up here. Uh, they said that we were gonna stop five miles from that glacier to avoid disturbing any of the wildlife. And you can feel like you're like, can reach out and touch it. <laughs> yeah, uh, distances and heights and perspective is completely distorted here because you just don't have anything to to reference it by you know earlier we saw something moving along uh in front of a glacier and we thought oh is that a bear or something it looked like a bear it looked like a bear because it was like moving but when i zoomed in on it no it didn't look like i didn't see any motion per se even though it seemed to be moving well, it turned out it was a boat I was able to get it, it in was, the binoculars. Yeah, I mean, you boat. just have no idea. And then we saw a much larger boat parked up uh, underneath this mountain that was, it, it looked tiny. It looked like a toy sitting out there. It was, 
it was so small. Mm -hmm. You just can't tell uh, distances or anything because everything is just so massive here. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, a, it's just amazing. But hope you guys are enjoying some of the footage from our day in Glacier Bay. If you are, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Yeah. <laughs> thumbs up, We baby. certainly appreciate that. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to our channel. We're a small and growing YouTube channel and we're trying to put out great content for folks like you that enjoy travel videos. So give us a, a like and subscribe. We really appreciate that. All right, let's see what else we can see today. Guess what time it is? It's tea time. It's afternoon tea time. And we got here late because we had to stop at the room, but uh, we're, we're yeah. online. <laughs> There's quite a line. Yeah. It's very popular. Yeah, afternoon tea is kind of popular here on Holland America. As, yeah. You know, I'm excited about this. A lot of people. Do it.
we finished our uh, exploration video shooting for the day, we're on our feet for probably a solid eight hours today. Yeah. Trying to capture whales and the sights and everything else. And it's about six o'clock now. We're sitting in the Tamarind Bar, which we've been wanting to get into all week. And it's our first chance. Yes. So. It's always busy. Yeah. That it is. So we're probably gonna have a drink before dinner. You look happy. I am. We started with a cheese plate. Perfect start. Yeah. I wasn't feeling so hot, but. I wiped out the cheese plate though. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't get much. We ate it. That is uh, sea bass with pears, apples, apples. And I asked, that it was a pan fried, and I asked for it to be grilled, broiled or something, and they did it with butter. Okay. And I have a beef tenderloin with asparagus and Yukon potatoes. Looks like I've got kale or something on there. Thank you. <laughs> and that's what? Uh, Dulce de leche? Yes. Dulce de leche and coconut tart with uh, French vanilla ice cream. You know me, I get tiramisu. We'll see how this one is. So, I was falling asleep and that feel the set the alarm because I think that there's chocolate here. I don't know how this works. I don't know what's going to happen. But I was laying in bed and I was really tired and I wasn't feeling so great. I was asleep a couple times, but I had no upset. That's why I look like him. <laughs> it's what? 9.30. It's 9.30. I'm looking so right out still. There's a chocolate surprise tonight at 9.45. I don't know how it's going to happen. I don't know anything about it other than it's a surprise. So. out of the room with all kinds of stuff and they don't even get out the door before everybody steals the stuff off the tray. I found a secret door. Rice crispy, white chocolate. Thank you, that was crazy. They weren't even making it out the door and everyone was stealing all the chocolate. Not stealing it, but taking all the chocolate. And, uh, it was actually really cool that they did that. And um, I'm gonna walk up three flights of stairs now because I ate some chocolate. <laughs> All right. Well, another day in the books. That was Glacier Bay. And boy, was it a busy one. Oh, so much fun. And there's just. The, it, the sights are just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, I wish we would have gotten a close up sighting of a whale. We caught some in a distance and some that uh, we just couldn't quite get there to film, but uh, they were all over the place, that's yeah. for sure. Yeah, they were. <clears throat> and it was cold this morning. Oh, it was my. cold this morning, but then it warmed up. It did. And we ended up taking our jackets and our fleeces off and basically stripping some of those layers down. I certainly And went did. back to, uh, you know, I just had a t-shirt on. I did not. So, I had my sweatshirt. Yeah. <laughs> It was nice out after a while, but oh, all right. Hope you guys enjoyed watching all of the sights and scenes from Glacier Bay today. I, like you said, I, I really enjoyed it. We got to see lots of wildlife and met some nice people. And I had the pea soup, the traditional pea soup, which you know, it was uh, a. <laughs> By the time I, it got to me, it, was, it wasn't hot, but that's hot. okay. Yeah. It was all about the tradition, and I was excited to be able to be a part of that. Yeah, I didn't have any of the pea soup. I was manning the camera, and um, you know, we just barely broke away from from uh, being on whale watch and glacier watch to get something to eat. Yeah, you know? we didn't even have breakfast this morning, and I no, was like, we oh were my just god, grabbing hungry. stuff yeah. wherever we saw things and. You know, they'd have coffee stations out on the decks and... Mold and wine and... 
and uh, all kinds that of other stuff. stuff yeah, that keep you warm. It'd be nice to do if you, if you didn't have a job to do while you were out there, but yeah, uh, yeah. So um, it was a fun time. And dinner, dinner was pretty good. Um, I like my I bass. Sea bass yeah, was good. Your sea bass was was really good. The rice that was with it was really good. Um, my tenderloin was not terribly tender. Um, didn't have a whole lot of flavor. Um, but I, I've, I've found that though. I think that, yeah. it, you know, for for the demographics, because we talked about Possibly. that, I think that they use a little less spice. Yeah, a so less spice keep that and in mind. So yeah. you might have to add your own salt and pepper to, mm -hmm. to bring it up to uh, your, 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 uh, your palate. Taste. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, dessert? Uh, the Dolce Leche. Um, Dolce de Leche. Or yeah, coconut tart. Not what I expected, and um, it wasn't my thing. So yeah, I mean, it. It's kind of like my tiramisu. It was kind of monotone, you know, one note. Uh, there was no texture to it. It was all. It all kind of. It was like a big cake, it, like a sheet what, cake. Well, it's more of. like all fluff or you know, uh, whipped cream. Um, it oh, wasn't. Like <laughs> it it had layers and stuff to it but it was kind of monotone it was just it felt like it was all the same thing there wasn't any any definition to it so it wasn't my favorite tiramisu so that concludes yet another day here in alaska yeah tomorrow we've got college fjord so we will be bringing that to you next week stay tuned make sure you give us a thumbs up if you haven't done that already and if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do so. Yes. You don't want to miss out on any no, of the new videos. That nobody got likes out. to miss out. All right, guys. We will see you next time from peaks to tides. See you on the next ride.